so this is another a new thing uh, see the quality of prasad is always quite superior and people uh, even you get a small a small bite also it's like a maha prasad to everybody that's what we all know uh, it was done with a very great reverence and especially the materials will be chosen for prasad is sourced from very very uh, trusted groups and trusted companies and which had been uh, given by the last uh, few decades you want to get this particular material grains everything is sourced out in a very well structured manner and no one has a date to violate that part and no one has date to change even if they wanted to change it they no one did so imagine you need per month as so a per day you need 15000 kg of ghee is needed to make prasad these guys say their claim is why did we change the vendors was uh, it is 1000 rupees plus something and we have changed it we have brought it down to and they said we have to give the supply had given us uh, around 360 to 400 the making of ghee itself is uh, quite uh, high uh, high price so we understand where how could they source such a cheap ghee and later after a few months when they when they, we were all in a wondering maybe i don't we don't know how could they achieve it so we don't know they had uh, sourced out from somewhere from uh, uh, delhi uh, so now they are in uh, gajabad and uh, somewhere in up i mean um, delhi or uh, part of delhi maybe we don't know maybe there someone is there maybe they said uh, we don't know but they said people were saying complaining regularly the smelling of something which is not the usual uh, prasad a lot of times people used to come to me and they said uh, see what's happening maybe you have to put for a soil i mean some kind of lab testing there are many things such things i said i thought no one would be dare to violate uh, play with this kind of sentiments i thought never thought um, i thought of it but we didn't give a, i was looking at other things in the ttd but when this particular issue came when the new evo came we looked at it i said we want to revive the ttd i mean uh, whatever the had been uh, ttd lot of uh, uh, mismanage had been done misappropriation of funds had been done they, they started a thing called uh, sriwani trust and they don't know what they these guys had done under the i mean i think mr Ch- chairman ttd chairman was mr uh, subaradi garu and uh, you was mr dharmaradi so we do, we have been com- consistently raising our concerns regarding the quality of prasad and regarding the functioning of ttd itself and of course other dharmic issues but these guys when the when we took the when we formed the government and said we want to revive we want to go back to the, then we said we sent send samples and we realized that this is animal fat uh, fish oil and uh, of course i want to you know beef uh, fat and uh, Uh, pig fat um, fish oil were uh, elements of um, both these things are there all three all these three and we are quite hurt quite uh, in a state of shock and uh, people have taken it for granted to play that kind of games here it is when people of uh, no commitment and no value and no respect for the sanctity of a, a temple and a if they take charge this is what exactly happens in the name of politicking they did went for some substandard things and this one that's, that's the result of it and on the top of it there was a lot of uh, it's it's not just about prasad today maybe there were a lot of liquors were supplied non vegetarian was supplied uh, and people were having parties there and uh, someone raises that why is it will be uh, with that muscle power they used to keep them down and all these things came on I think there's a high time I that's the reason today morning I tweeted I think there's a high time to everyone should uh, come together it's not about one prasad today it's go definitely shocking it's hot uh, I think we have to because when governments and boards are not acting well there should be some other monitoring mechanism in India in Bharat it should be sanatana dharma parirakshana board is the order of the day it is very essential that's what i feel uh because any kind of uh, desecration happens to idols the sanctity of the temples not been maintained like the like ttd prashadana 
and whatever the agama shastra says the practice is the the devotional practices the, the method you pray when they're not being practiced i think a lot of mere political employments come into the picture so there should be i feel the, the reason why i had proposed for sanatana dharma parirakshana board is essential the reason was when you give it leave it to the political groups there is more uh, such incidents are likely to happen on a regular basis which to thwart it and to put a uh, find a permanent solution or to find a, a permanent method to mitigate i think uh, uh, sanatan dharma parirakshana parirakshana board i think we should constitute uh, maybe i'll speak to the my our cabinet and honorable uh, cm also i think i'm i am personally i'm uh, i think i'll uh, take it forward this particular concept and uh, i w- if you look at it a uh, lot of uh, revolutionary concepts came under the leadership of uh, sri cbn uh, sivan garu and in the same manner i think we will institute i think we will constitute something uh, like uh, sanatan dharma rakshana parirakshana board is essential it is order of the day and uh, uh i'll take it in uh, take it up in the uh, next meeting in cabinet meeting and with my colleagues and the honorable sir so across the state we are having a lot of temples are you going to are you going to initiate any such type of uh, committees and i think i think we should because none should even in pitapuram they have desecrated temples they have destroyed the idols around two uh, to my knowledge i think uh, it varies of thing but uh, as on i can remember around 219 to around 300 temples were desecrated and uh, what even the rathams were uh, burnt out the idols were desecrated a lot of uh, see for every place of worship irrespective it's a mosque it's a church or a temple you have to maintain the uh, desecrate i mean uh, you have to maintain the sanctity of that you cannot desecrate that part so the problem is when temples are being attacked it is the fundamental responsibility of every political leader irrespective of which faith you belong to if something happens to mass i would like to raise my voice if something happens to a church i would like to raise my voice if something happens to the temple i think i should raise my voice so this kind of uh, approach had to be I mean this kind of consciousness had to be awakened i think it is very essential uh, for the integrity of our nation i think which has been neglected i think it's a high time uh, i think we should put an end to it and i will find a, a kind of method to mitigate such uh, situations so what's the genesis stands on the one nation um it is not just about genesis na maybe every average uh, member of this nation uh, nation is feels like constantly they getting t- tired of these elections every time imagine today is not just we are not uh, Uh, we are not just one country we are a huge country and somewhere in some country, some for some part of the nation election keeps on happening the entire national discourse on channels which is supposed to be on fundamental development instead of leaving it <coughs> for it is uh, okay pre poll uh, during poll and post poll for every election it takes away a quality time of 3 months uh, public discourse into elections and every one and a half year 9 months 12 months somewhere that happens so the greatest thing which could be, which we could have focused on development of the people development of the country is uh, missing uh, and also the military force the um, to, to, supposed to be I mean the paramilitary force has been at uh, one time usage and then they can go back to the designated uh, job which they are supposed to do and money would come down and all these things are put together it is a one nation one election is not about one party one individual it is the uh, echo of that entire uh, uh, people of this nation maybe some might disagree uh, don't agree that's not it, but the majority are agreeing and i feel it is a right direction i mean uh, we are moving in the right direction to india to become uh, a global power uh, very sustainable golden global power to become i think this is one of the first step to do that that's what I'm